What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and today is MOB Scrap Birthday. We all know who that is. That's a legend in a drill culture. Actually, it's the brother of Ruga. You know, that's the big time drill artist that's popping off right now. They didn't let the GDs in the door. He's also the cousin of legendary rapper FBG Duck, who was gunned down and killed due to gun violence in Chicago a couple years ago. You know, today is the birthday. A lot of people reminisce and scrap. You know, a lot of people in the drill culture don't know a lot about scrap because he lost his life like early in the drill culture. Uh, big in this shit. He's actually one of the biggest drill culture figures who don't really rap. You know, I hear a lot about him in the streets. A lot of people tell me, you know, the internet made stories up on Scrap. Scrap was just a, a regular young man living life, and unfortunately, shit led to his demise. Some people told me Scrap was no play play. He was out here. He didn't play no games. You know, he was quick to check somebody if they fucked around with him, but he loved his people. That's what people have told me, you know. I actually had a chance to interview Ruger, and Ruger did. You know, they both told me that the internet is going crazy with all these monstrous stories of Scrap. And that Scrap was just a regular guy who just, you know, followed the wrong crowd and got involved in things, you know. Uh, Rico Reckless tells stories of hanging with Scrap early in the culture. He said it used to be him, Bebe, uh, Stain, you know. These are well-known people in the drill culture. So if he was around them guys, you know he had that reputation, you know. Uh, real close to Dooski the man. We all know about Dooski. Dooski ended up losing his life through the gun violence. He had a funeral and it was shot up. You know, Wooski ended up catching a headshot at this funeral. So we all know about like, you know, MOB. That's a faction of like the GDs on the south side of Chicago. The internet shows a war with them with 600 and shit like that. And the crazy part about that is he was actually charged with the murder of Memo 600 brother, Lil Steve. He actually beat that case, even though people say people testified against Scrap, but somehow Scrap even beat that case. I asked his father about that, and he told me people testified against his son, and that he still beat that case. Um, unfortunately, a little bit later on, he ended up losing his life due to gun violence. I guess he was standing outside when the SUV rolled up on him. Two people in the SUV, according to paperwork, um, they released shots, stop firing. He was hit multiple times, ended up losing his life through the gun violence. You know, we hear a lot of people, you know, name dropping, scrapping songs and shit. King Von came home fresh out of jail and name dropped, scrapping his song with Memo 600 and the exposing me joint. So, you know, it's been street shit going on. We all know about that. Some people told me, you know, scrap was like the first... The first shot in the war, in my opinion. That's why I was losing his life. But, you know, people told me 600 and MOB was cool once upon a time. I'm not sure. A lot of people tell me all kind of shit. So please take it with a grain of salt. But I was told, you know, all these hoods was cool. You clearly see uh, old pictures of, like, scrap with, like, certain members from 600 and shit. But I was told, you know, uh, shit happened. And that killing kind of separated everything. Even though I do believe it was still beef when that shit happened. But I think it's fully, fully just separated everything is what I was told, you know. Um, but today is just like a day of remembering Scrap. I believe if Scrap was still alive, uh, he'd probably be in a rap game right now because these communities get pushed in a rap due to the clout that these neighborhoods gain from the drill culture. So I believe, you know, if Scrap was still here, he'd probably be a dope rapper. I was told he got rap songs. I'm not sure if they're on YouTube, but I was told Scrap do got songs. Ruger told me that. You know, but uh, you get a chance, man. Um, check out some of his brother music, Ruger, man, because Scrap lived through Ruger. So you want to know a lot about Scrap, man, maybe check out some of Ruger interviews. Check out his dead Big Les interviews and shit like that. But I wanted to bring to your attention that today is a legendary M.O.B. Scrap birthday. It's crazy, too, man, because there's a lot of legends in the drill coaster who lost their life, you know, due to gun violence that I believe would be huge right now if they had that energy in the music, you know. But um, I'm going to get up out of here. I got a lot of interviews I'm going to be doing today. I got some classic I got dropping later on. And the Truth Hurts show dropped later on too, man. So I appreciate the love. It's telling me true. Put that.